I think we might have time to do the little rant that I was talking about. Um, but before that, let's do main topic number six. And our sixth main topic, and this, this can be pretty short, but you know how we've been talking about how Amazon has been firing and censoring people for speaking out against um, the safety of working at their warehouses? Well, they've done it again. Amazon warehouse worker has allegedly been fired because over through retaliation for safety activation. So, an Amazon.com incorporated warehouse worker in uh, Shakopee, Minnesota, has accused the company of retaliating against her for protesting what she says are unsafe working conditions during the pandemic. In a letter to Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison, uh, Hibag Mohammed said managers were demanding that she account for time away from her workstation, including increments of less than three minutes. Mohammed said she's being singled out for her activism and that she is now one warning away from termination. She hasn't been fired yet, but you know, I, I think most of us have been in a situation where basically management does not like us and they are looking for reasons to get rid of you and they will do whatever they can. And, you know, there's a saying out there that if you follow someone around in a car for three hours a day, you will see them break at least 10 laws because, because they, they do things that you're not, we all do things we're not supposed to do. They're technically not legal, but we're, we're humans. It's human nature. We just make mistakes. Same thing with work. If you start like severely monitoring someone, for a, day, for a day, you will find them breaking at least a few company rules. Things they're not supposed to do. You know, hey, you're supposed to, um, you know, you take a phone call that you're maybe not supposed to. Maybe you're at the desk and you check like a website real quick, like because you want to check the news. You know, you're technically not supposed to do that. But you, if you're getting your work done and there's nothing, and it's not imp impeding your workflow, who cares? Unless a manager cares, like they want to get rid of you for something, then they will will start looking through everything you do and they will retaliate. And that's probably what hap is happening here. As she says, I worked at Amazon for nearly four years with a very clean record and just one or two warnings I know of in that entire time, she wrote in the July 13th letter, which was reviewed by Bloomberg. Amazon managers have targeted me and openly harassed me before, but increasingly during the pandemic. Mohammed is the latest employee activist to accuse Amazon of retaliation. This year, the company has fired four employees who criticized the company for its treatment of workers. The termination of Chris Smalls, who led a demonstration at a warehouse in Staten Island, triggered an investigation by New York Attorney General Latita James, who called his firing immoral and inhumane. Amazon has said all four were terminated for violating company policy. Now, in regards to Muhammad, an Amazon spokeswoman said, While we have not seen the formal complaint, the allegations described are not true. We do not tolerate any kind of discrimination in the workplace, and we support every employee's right to criticize their employer. That doesn't come with blanket immunity to ignore internal policies. And by the way, uh, uh, not Uber, Amazon's internal policies does say things against um, protesting the company. So what's probably happening from my perspective, and I could be wrong, but this woman has complained about safety issues going on at Amazon. And we know that there are safety issues at Amazon. They've been They've been pretty well documented and people keep speaking out more and more. But Amazon, rather than fire this person on the day of complaint, they're just now being like the nosy boss. They're looking through all the things she's doing, finding out all the little mistakes that, you know, everyday human error makes and saying, see, this is reason to complain to you, to write you up, and we are going to fire you if you don't improve. But maybe she's, there's nothing really to improve and the mistakes she's making, they're just human error mistakes. But this is, but Amazon really just, they probably just want to get rid of her. She's complained about safety and they just want to get her out of there. So that's what I believe is going on. However, what do you folks think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'd love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly.